Okay, so going to look at a destructive lock, a decinto, and then if, it, if we don't break the joint, we're into a positional lock. So again, this is a decinto chiara. From here, we have this sequence. Here, to the punch, to the punch. And we turn 180 into a, a throw. Let's just say Paddy has a single necktie, and he's hooked the back of the head again. I've got to be aware of this hand from this position. Then I'm just standing like this, and I try to push this off. Paddy's got his hand hooked, so it's just this tuning sweeper. Because his hand is hooked around my head, it's not moving. So as in the cat, I turn sideways. First hand clears it, but the second one is waiting at the elbow, and we have this movement here, which again can be a destructive lock if I'm hitting right on that spot. And I don't damage his arm. Next move in the cat is hand swims to the inside, and I bring it to my right hand side, and now we have another positional lock. Hammer for straight, again, step in and punch. Or the next move in the cat after the punch is a throw, so I'll be taking it to this side. So I have my punch, and then I can step in and throw, as in the cat, uh, just from the single neck tie again. So from, from our position, up, I don't want any trouble I'm stepping back and throwing for my destructive block straight away. If I haven't damaged that, hand swims inside, bring it to this side, have the strike, and then we have a punch. So again, from here, hands come up. Again, I turn sideways. We have our move, this move out of Chinto. Hand swims inside, bring it to my hip. There's your positional lock strike. And I bring it back across for this before I step in and hit my toe. So um, our destructive lock into a positional lock from Chinto.